Should you refinance your home or go out and look for a new one? Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and this is a common dilemma that homeowners have. And they've really had this dilemma over the last two years because interest rates have been so darn good and so darn low. But the first thing you need to realize, homeowners, that when you refinance, you're essentially buying your home again. That's what you're doing. You're not getting a new loan, you're buying your home again with a new loan, right? It's a refinance, but it's a new loan. And you might be thinking, well, I don't have a down payment and there's no way to replace, replace this home at the price that I'm getting it for. Well, no, that's not exactly what's happening, everybody. You have to understand something. Let's imagine your home's worth $500,000 and your loan's $250,000. When you refinance, you're essentially putting that $250,000 down as a down payment. The bank is using your equity as the down payment, so you don't have to come out of pocket with anything, but it's still there. It's no different than you selling it, getting the $250,000 and putting it down on something else, but nobody considers that. So the first thing I want you guys to ask yourself is, would I buy this home again compared to whatever else is on the marketplace? Another way to look at it is, would it make sense for you, if you were looking to buy a new home, to only look at one? and ignore everything else, ignore all of the other possibilities for you and your family and your future? Does that make any sense at all? Absolutely not, because I can tell you this, the person that you 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 were when you bought your home is not the person that you are now. I know that for a fact. Your kids are a different age, they've grown up, they've moved out, you're older, you have a different job, you have a different income, maybe you have a different career, you have different hobbies. So we underestimate how much we change. It's true. Psychologically, there's been a lot of studies on this that we underestimate how much we actually change in the future. We're not the same people, so you need to consider that. And you also need to consider what's out there. And so before you refinance, take a look at what's out on the marketplace first, right? Because the banks, they want to refinance your home. They would love to refinance your home. In fact, they make a ton of money off of refinancing your home. They do. They know how much money you make. They know how much money you have in your bank. They know how much your home is worth. They actually, you should be a little bit buyer beware when it comes to refinancing your home because the bank knows more about you than you know about yourself. I doubt you know how much your home's worth. I doubt it. The bank knows. Oh yeah, they've done their research. They know how. So when you get that postcard in the mail and says you should refinance, guess what? That's because they've identified you as uh, somebody susceptible to refinances. (laughs) right and they're gonna give you what you want to hear a lower rate lower payment lower everything but do you really want to start over does that make a lot of sense you already paid it down for five years do you want to go back to 30 all of a sudden (laughs) that doesn't make a lot of sense so I'm just spurring some thought with you guys today when it comes to refinances now you may have already refinanced it was a smart move right it probably helped you pay down your principal but now look at what's out there just take a gander there's different things happening in the community too. I always look for areas that are in the path of progress. I'm always looking for up and coming areas when I purchase homes. I love that. Some neighborhoods are improving, some are declining. It's happening everywhere, I know it, right? A certain neighborhood, a neighbor moves in and ruins the neighborhood. You know, someone moves out and there's a lot of vacancies. Maybe your neighborhood has lots of rentals right now and it's noisy and there's more traffic, right? Find the area that's in the path of progress that has new lighting, new sidewalks, new parks, new advancements, new trails, new opportunities for you guys because it's happening everywhere. It's happening in Moses Lake, it's happening in East Wenatchee, it's happening in Okanagan County, it's happening in Walla Walla, it's happening in all these areas we live in, right? There's new things happening. I wanna be close to those new things. I wanna, I wanna get more privacy. I, don't wanna, I wanna, want my home to be worth more money in the future. And the, air, the homes that are going to be worth more in the future compared to other homes are in the neighborhoods that are in the path of progress. So just think of these things. Consider them before you refinance. All right, you guys. Talk to you soon.